Hey, so uh, today marks about about one month that I've relocated to uh, to uh, the Phoenix area. Uh, I guess I'm in the Scottsdale. Uh, it's hard to tell because the, the city is so big that all the other cities are all blended together. Kind of like, like when I grew up in uh, L.A. You never know. It's all L.A. County. So here it's all it's all Phoenix. But it's really nice. Today's really nice. It's uh, it's cloudy. It's below 100. So it's like, uh, according to my truck here, it's 75 degrees. So it's practically winter. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a great day. It's cloudy. I just got done doing a, a lift drive. And yes, that's one of my side hustles is lifting. This is actually maybe the third or fourth day I've done it. And it's uh, it's been pretty cool. It's, uh, you know, everybody says, well, Neff, you got a big truck. It eats gas. Yeah, it does, but it doesn't matter. It's uh, I'm not saddled with having to report to some place to get to work and have to be there, you know, part time or full time. Still gives me flexibility uh, to try to get my uh, businesses off the ground. And that and that's the thing I wanted to mention is that leaving my job of 27 years uh, as a cop, but it could be anything, you know, that, that I worked with a steady paycheck. Uh, for all that time and trying to become an entrepreneur and start your own business is is uh, not easy <laughs> it's not easy I mean I do not have a retirement without going into details all that got rolled over into a retirement account so when I get really old and I'm all gray or bald uh, I'll be able to collect on that but for now like everyone else I need to pay the bills and um, and so I was able to save up a little bit of money, a tiny little bit, to uh, to pay my bills. But I do have to get this business or one of my businesses off the ground uh, and be able to pay the day to day bills. So I'm working on that. The lift, the, the lift is something I'm doing on the side, and it's kind of been fun. It's cool. I meet different people. You know, uh, there's a couple people that want to talk, but I'm a big talker, so. I'm enjoying it and uh, and that's fun you get to learn your city real quick uh, and it's pretty straightforward here in, in Phoenix area I mean everything runs east west north south and and thank God for people like me it's all numbered one two three and this way and you know and almost like ABC in the other way so it's not that bad as long as my phone doesn't die uh, I'll know where I'm going but the thing that inspired me to to talk right this moment is that I want to share that with those of us in the in the middle of our lives I'm 55 and um, I guess nowadays that's the new 40 that's not right but I, in other words I probably ain't gonna croak for another 20 or 30 years hopefully and and it's plenty of time to to try to pursue a passion or a a business that you wanted to start or into another line of work that you know maybe you'll enjoy nothing wrong with with my 27 years in law enforcement I mean the funny thing about that and that's a whole nother video is that I never wanted to become a cop uh, it was just a job I started or got into back in the late 80s and I was like uh, needed a job at the time <laughs> like now and and they I was in LA at the time and they were hiring and uh, I think starting pay was like 37000 a year, which is a lot of money back then. Shoot, it's not bad even today. And I didn't have a degree at the time, so I signed up. And uh, But I ended up working out of uh, my old hometown of El Paso, Texas. But there's plenty of time. My point is there's plenty of time as we get older. And if you stay in good health and and you still have a passion or a drive or an ambition, to pursue other things in your life uh, that maybe you didn't have time or have an opportunity to. You know, you get, we all have kids or growing up, you've got bills to pay, you know, right then and there. So you don't always have the flexibility of, of pursuing a, a passion or, or a line of work that, that brings you joy. There's no sense of dread going to work. And that's something that we can all envy in others and and so that's what I'm trying to do it's it's 
been slow going and I kind of expected that, you know, it takes time in, in the two businesses that I'm trying to create. Um, but perseverance is, is key and, and a faith, a blind faith that in what you're trying to do is something that, that is worthwhile. And obviously we have to pay the bills. And so I E there's my side gig lift. Uh, I'm also going to try to do some, uh, some paid photography work um, on the side with the glamorous real estate photography, you know. So hopefully I can I can get some clients uh, on that end. But today was a nice day. I, I I've been feeling down and not sure of myself and kind of doubting myself, and that's going to happen. But I ended up going to this. Car. I went to get gas. You can imagine, right? Lift driver in a truck that eats gas. That's a common thing, right? But I wanted to get a cup of coffee and nothing against Starbucks, but it can get old after a while. But I went to this place called uh, Dutch Brothers. And I don't know if it's just unique to this area, but I honestly thought it was a paint shop. You know, like Sherwin Williams. I think, I think there was a line of paint called Dutch Brothers. But uh, it's a coffee shop. It's a little drive-through right behind me and I, I got in line and said, yeah, let me try a latte or something fancy like that. And a young man approached me in the line to take the order. And he was so nice. He was so cool. I, I told him, I was just joking with him. Well, I wasn't joking. I said, yeah, I thought this was a paint shop. And every time I'd pass by to go to Costco to get gas, I'd see a line of people here. And I didn't know what was going on. I said, man, a lot of people painting their houses today and yesterday and the day before. And he started laughing and he says, no, no, we're a, we're a coffee shop. And uh, I asked him, you know, well, do you recommend a coffee? I mean, coffee's coffee, right? So how different can it be? And he, he told me about a thing called the Brevia, which is kind of like a, like a latte, but uh, uh, with Irish cream. And I said, well, I don't want it too sweet. He says, no, no, we can make it half sweet. And so he did that. And man, it is, it is the best thing. It is, it is just right. You know, we're all different, right? So I don't like it too sweet, but I don't want it to taste like an ashtray. And it's perfect. It's right in the middle. And he says, you know what? Since it's your first time here, uh, it's it's on the house. I was like, oh man, really? And he goes, yeah. So I appreciated that. I told him I'd, I'd give him a shout out on uh, on their Facebook page, take a picture of it and um, and really appreciate it. But it, it made me realize that there's there's good people, there's good places, anywhere you go, and and today this really helped. Um, you know, like I said, uh, uh, starting a business or two, or trying to, and it, it trust me, it, it sounds more glorious than it is. Um, trying to get, uh, pursue something that you enjoy uh, is, is hard, even under the best of circumstances. But especially on a day like today for me, where I wasn't feeling it and uh, doubting myself and wondering, you know, crap, I'm going to, I'm going to have to buckle down and get a, a eight to five job. Um, and maybe not completely give up on my, on my aspirations, but kind of put them on hold or put them on the back burner. But I'm, uh, but I'm not quite there yet. So I, I still have a little bit of money and time to, to really push my, my initiatives and see if I can get some traction. So anyway, just wanted to share that. Uh, I wish my uh, my little 11 year old were here watching this. She she laughs. And my other kids do laugh at me too. They're adults, but I've got the little one, and uh, and she's always vlogging and stuff like that. So I think she'll appreciate this. I hope. Anyway, that's all I got to say. That's what I got. So hopefully I can do some more of these and hopefully speak uh, with some successes. And uh, that's my goal. So. We'll see. Thanks.